IOLTA, the company dedicated to building knowledge and setting the standards in the technical sector of aviation leasing. Welcome to our free certificate course on the introduction to aircraft technical records. This is video number two in our series of 11 videos introducing you to aircraft technical records. Our aim in this video is to illustrate how technical records accumulate over the life cycle of the aircraft. One aircraft could have between 60 to 100 boxes of technical records accumulated during its lease. Let's start with an aircraft coming off the production line from the OEM, Boeing or Airbus, and going to a lessor. The OEM will supply the lessor with a set of delivery documents that will be uploaded to the lessor's IT system and form what's commonly known as the aircraft technical specifications. Technical specifications would include various information about the aircraft. An example of this information would be the manufacturer's serial number, or MSN, the aircraft type, the engine model fitted, the maximum takeoff and landing weights, interior configuration, any fitted modifications, the engine thrust ratings, avionics list, the aircraft's hours and cycles, the landing gear fitted, and engine LLPs, or life limited parts. That's a lot to take in, but don't worry, we will explain some of these terms later and in other videos. The lessor then agrees a lease contract with the airline. This contract will identify the lease duration, the monthly payments, and the technical redelivery conditions. The airline planning and engineering department are responsible for the airworthiness of the aircraft and will monitor and control this by means of technical records. The scheduling and control of the airworthiness will often be done by a software program like Redifly or Amos. Separate the airworthiness platform, airlines will also use cloud-based products to store electronic copies of the records and to assist with sorting and indexing of files. Despite having cloud-based programs for electronic copies of the technical records, the safety agencies and regulatory departments like YASA in Europe and the FAA in the United States require that all technical records are also to be kept in hard copy format. Over the next number of slides, we will introduce you to some of the technical records. But remember, we will also discuss these in more detail on videos 5 to 11. During an aircraft's operation, the pilots will fill in a technical log page when they have a finding or fault during operations, and the ground maintenance engineers will complete the entry when the fault has been rectified. The planning and engineering departments will issue airworthiness directives as outlined by the OEM such as Boeing or Airbus, to ensure that the recommended safety updates and improvements are carried out. We will discuss this more in a dedicated video to ADs, Airworthiness Directives. The Aircraft Planning and Engineering Departments will also issue modifications to optimize aircraft efficiency or comply with a regulatory mandate. We also have a video dedicated to modifications. The engines and landing gear are the most expensive components on the aircraft, of which purchase price is tens of millions of dollars. The paperwork associated with engines and landing gear is extensive due to airworthiness directives and service bulletin requirements. There is also a high number of life limited parts, or LLPs, with certification documents attached to each. The aircraft will also have paint events over its life cycle. The technical records which record the process and materials used also contribute to the accumulation of paperwork. Every aircraft flight hour and cycle must be recorded by the airline and this is referred to as the aircraft's utilization. Flight hours refers to the actual number of hours flown by an aircraft over a specified time period from the moment the aircraft leaves the ground on takeoff until the moment the wheels touch the ground again on landing. In our illustration below, we can see the total flight hours equals 3 FH. A flight cycle consists of a takeoff and a landing. In our illustration, the flight cycles equals 1 FC. The greatest number of technical records are produced when the aircraft has to undergo the numerous maintenance events in the MRO. These maintenance events ensure the aircraft's continuous airworthiness. 
These maintenance events are often referred to as the A checks, C checks and D checks. The airline's planning and engineering departments will be responsible for assigning the routine task cards and at the correct intervals. Congratulations on completing our How Do Aircraft Technical Records Accumulate video. In our next video, number three, we will explain more about the technical records produced during the hangar or MRO events. Have you registered for the course on our website? You will need to do this in order to complete the multiple choice questions associated with each video to achieve your certificate.